too close. So, oh, I can move this. Oh, shit. Good morning, you beautiful people. Uh, today is a day in the life of uh, being with me. You guys just saw my incredible filming skills. Miguel gets here at 9 a.m. It is currently uh, 5.30 in the morning. And so up until about 9 a.m., you're going to see incredible clips. It is going to be exponentially better 9 a.m. and beyond here. We've got a lot on the docket today, and I'm excited to walk you guys through what my day looks like. Getting things started with 30 ounces of water and uh, electrolytes. Where are those at? So the Centerflex electrolytes, the first thing that I'm doing as soon as I wake is that um, we're going to be focusing on getting rehydrated. So getting some water in quickly, getting the electrolytes, all that transpires before I get to enjoy this delicious cup of coffee. I'm headed to my desk. I'm going to be getting to some check-ins from yesterday. Kind of how I go about things within check-ins is that um, I will take notes and those different factors from their check-ins the, the day prior. And then in the mornings, I will record all all of the voice memos just so that I can be as concise as possible. I know that in years past, I would take notes and then go immediately into recording and I felt as though that I was just kind of wasting my time as well as their time of, of rambling a little bit from time to time. So now I go about it in this fashion and it's much more efficient as well as I think that I'm able to articulate myself better because it's right first thing in the morning right now and I'm getting a fresh cup of coffee in. So it's going to be an awesome day. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. All right, guys, I have finished my morning work. I've got a little bit more to do before we have the podcast at 10, 11, 11. So this is breakfast. This is the same breakfast that I have absolutely every single day. This is something that we reiterate to all of our clients in terms of just building consistency within the foods that you enjoy so that you're not having decision fatigue from the foods that you're eating. So the first thing is just Greek yogurt, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and then delightful egg and cheese and uh, bacon breakfast sandwich. I've got my supplements here and then just water. So I'm going to enjoy this, get back into work, and then you guys will probably see me next at the podcast. You went back on my Instagram, it'd be like this massive surge of content, that content getting new clientele, and then there'd be no content. <laughs> and then it would be like, okay, I've got a good grasp on the client work that I have. You'd see a big spike of content. It would do the same thing, which is a blessing. And, and the, you know, the point of the content itself probably would have worked exponentially better if I were just kept with it. <laughs> it's a crazy concept of being consistent. And so in that year, we had the content that Miguel was, was shooting for us, which was abundantly helpful. Like, mm -hmm. we don't have Miguel in 2020. <laughs> I'm not sure I post once. <laughs> Those exercise you may videos have never seen me. and everything that we did that year was, I mean, Crazy. everything. Like, yeah. that is what we needed to do. If we did not do that in 2020, I, like, really don't know where we would be. We were um, working, like, from... A, the second we woke up, like 5 a.m. till at least 10 p.m. every night. We were focused very heavily on growing physique development as well as preparing for a move later into the year. Mm -hmm. And so my focus was painfully heavily on those things. And so content itself took a back seat in 2021. Mm -hmm. And so in January, but we had decided like, hey, we're doing it this year. We're not just saying we're doing it and gonna be like, oh, we're gonna be consistent on Instagram. We're doing it. And if you have heard me talk about things you know that challenges really help me and so being able to have Alex be like let's see if you can do 13 posts in a month and then we'll do this if you do and I was like bet I'll do more than that I think that it would be helpful to speak to some of the self-limiting beliefs and some of the hurdles that we've had to face before we even get into what we've learned you know through the process mm -hmm. but I think that uh, laying the foundation and, and understanding that there's so many people watching this that are also struggling with like trying to build their own business trying to find their voice and, and how they speak on social media and those different factors and just know that <laughs> we have been there on a multiple different yeah. occasions as well as different like varying of levels and those different things. One of the things that I feel like not many people know about me in general, mm -hmm. just because I don't share a ton from a social media perspective, I've done a lot better over the past yeah. weeks, um, months, if you will. And so within that, one of the things for me is that I, from a very beginning, was very nervous to show my goofy side. And which is a big part of my personality in terms of my humor and also showcase that I'm very intelligent within the aspects that I feel, you know, intelligent in those different things. And so that was probably the biggest one. There's there's other ones, but we can kind of keep digging through. But yeah. and I think the, the other thing for me is that I am very focused on quality. 
That is every aspect of my life. I want things to be very high quality. I prefer to not have the thing if I can't have the best thing. That is another thing within the content in and of itself that I had to know and be self-aware enough of like, we have to bring this and really invest into the content for me to be present in this. And that's what we've done this year and has been so uh, beneficial for us. If you want to see a podcast of just Alex and I shooting the shit, thumbs up. My or brilliant pro- podcast we- name that you shot down. No, no, no. I actually like it. I think we should probably uh, bleep it out in this um, so people don't get, you know, steal people it. People don't steal it. Yeah, I know. Until we get it and then go from there. We got to get a logo made, you know, the I whole know. line. The whole thing. I didn't even mention my art in the back of the handyman of the house, TH. You are. I, I do not touch anything. I, I hung those up. <laughs> you did, eh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did was, you? Uh, yeah. Did you hang them up or did you just hold them while someone else hung them up? I was part of hanging those up. Okay. We're going to go get lunch. Or not go get lunch. <laughs> We're going to go down to the kitchen and eat lunch. We're going to potentially take Tucker on a dub, mm-hmm. a little bit more computer work, and then I'm going to train. Um, I've got calls this evening. But I thought yeah, we houses get a hose too. came with houses. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was just a housewarming gift from the previous owner is what but she I thought. Just, like, like, I thought it was just like it's hooked on to the house. So she thought we would get a hose. They didn't even leave us the mirrors in the bathroom. We moved into this house with no mirrors in our bathroom. So, Still don't. But she but would think that we would get no, a hose. No, I thought if the mirrors, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> mirrors, I don't expect them to be like our last house. Well, they were in the last house. That was yes, an empty yes. house. Okay, but I do fucking expect mirrors, okay? You just assume, right? Like, you just go into the bathroom and there's a mirror. Yeah. Um, but that that's not the case. So we can show you guys some of the great mirrors that we put into place. They're not in the right spot. It's a it's a new trending thing. It's <laughs> Sue is setting a trend. Um, they are... They're up, but they're not really in a good place. So can... I'm just waiting till my dad can come. Her dad is. Shut <laughs> up! All right, guys, it is 2.30 now, and it's time to train. So we've got appointments starting at 4, so we're going to be cranking through this training session. Thankfully, what Adam, my coach, Adam Miller, from N1 Education has programmed is that these sessions are not uber-duber long. They're about 45 minutes to an hour, and so it's going to set up nicely. But today, we are mixing up the pre, and we are utilizing the raw pump. From the last vlog you guys saw, I utilized the raw pump, I utilized the raw pre. The raw pre has a little bit of, of caffeine in there, and so with it being as late in the day as it is, um, I will not be taking any caffeine here. It will just be the raw pump here, and then the creatine, and the uh, pump two, which is, this is Hydromax specifically, and then this is the, the creatine itself is that, uh, I talked about last time, we, push from an education standpoint that post-workout is best, but I don't always have a shake post-workout, so it is just better to be consistent in general, and this is when I consistently have a shake, thus this is when I take it. Today, we are training, uh, we're training back, and it's going to be a little bit higher tempo. Uh, this is going to still be considered hypertrophy training as a whole, uh, but it is going to have a little bit of greater metabolic effect. There's going to be some endurance components that are going to be involved with this training session today and the training stimulus that I'm in. Once I get this down, then I'm going to throw in some like 25 or 30 grams of intra carbs here, and I'll have that during my training. And you guys already know, if you watched the last vlog, I, I keep reiterating, go back and watch it if you have it. But I have to have four gummy worms uh, before every training session. Leave a comment below. Do you guys shower prior to your training session, after your training session? Are you a psycho like myself and do both? I feel like I have to be clean before I go into training. I can't just go in there a little greasy, not feeling my best, and train good and train well, train good. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you guys do. I'll shower before my training, after my training, and then before I go to bed. Especially with my allergy right now. Her water bill is not a normal water bill. <laughs> I'm the problem.
gym playlist, and uh, this is, it's constantly changing, but Fantasy by Big Star and Offset is a song that I constantly have playing, and this is one I get a lot of questions on. I love this song. enjoy this, especially paired with the Legion Way Plus, the cocoa cereal. This is the best flavor. I'm telling you right now, people can talk about, oh, the fruity, the Fruit Loops one, or the honey cereal one. No, no, no. This is it. This is all you need. This is amazing. Give it a shot uh, with a copious amount of cashew milk, and you will be, you'll be thrilled. to what these meetings can look like. So across the week, I'm going to be completing check-ins and those are going to be submitted to me via email and I'll answer those uh, within 24 hours. The other things that I have going on are talking to inquiring clients. So this is what I just finished up. I just had four calls with uh, inquiring clients to work with myself or the physique development staff. And so on those calls, I'm giving them a little bit of insight in terms of what the service entails as well as giving them insight in terms of what coach is going to be best for them and also hearing what they're experiencing, some of the hurdles that they're facing, how we can get them to the place that they want to be, accomplish the goals that they have and those different factors. So it's a really, I really enjoy it. I know that at the, the pace in which we have grown and those different things, many people have told me that it's probably best that I hire a sales representative to do these calls, but I really do enjoy getting to engage with everyone. I know soon we are going through the interviewing process to have someone hired there, uh, but for the time being, I'm still doing that three or four days a week at this moment. The other things that I would be fulfilling would be EDU calls, so we do have mentorship, and so I have hour-long lectures with uh, clients throughout the week for that, and so you may see in the future, not today, I didn't have one today, but in the future that would be another instance in which I would have meetings or those lectures that would be transpiring, so um, I always really enjoy the, the EDU calls, I love the sales calls, I just love engaging and getting to hear more within future clients' experiences as well as current clients and all that fun stuff. Before we go on this W, which we can't say the word, if you know, you know, we're going to go say hi to our new neighbors. They just moved in like a day or two ago. She said she loves wine, so bring wine. But the go-to gift for everything is cheesecake. Literally brought it to my nail tech, brought it to everyone that I know because everyone loves getting cheesecake. The Cheesecake Girl ships nationwide on Gold Belly, just so you know. But if you're in Columbus area, we're gonna hand some of these minis out. So these were the minis of the day. We got six of them ready to go and introduce ourselves. So, it lit. It's excited. Don't know Gus and Tucker, they're both over 100 pounds. 
very obnoxious. You probably will see it in the walk itself. <laughs> They're crazy. It was great hanging out with you guys today. If you guys want to see more within our day-to-day -day life of Sue and I, drop a comment below and we'll get to hammer those out and show you guys more of our day-to-day. -day. It's been really great and I'm looking forward to doing this more often.